Hi, this is my second Python uh, scripting tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a very simple 3D model using a Python script. Okay, I'm going to the scripting layout. I'm going to just drag this cube and if you notice in the Python console in the report view you see the command transform translate me moving the cube. I'm going to use the report console uh, to get the commands to make a simple model. Now if I go back to the default layout and I'm going to add mesh monkey then I go to the scripting layout here is the command mesh primitive monkey add. I'm going to do control C copy that I'm going to come into the text editor window need to start a new text document I'm going to call it monkey.py py is the extension for Python scripts okay let's try control and V this button here is word wrap now uh, the command generated by blender has got lots of arguments, all these parameters, um, but they all default so you don't particularly need them. This just says that it's in the first layer and not in the other layers. It'll default to that anyway, we don't need it. And don't need this. The only thing I want to do is alter its location and rotation, so I'll keep those. Now, I've done this before, I want the location to be um, minus 0.3 and in the y direction bring the head slightly forward and in the z direction two blender units up. In the rotation, the rotation by default is in radians not degrees 90 degrees in radians is approximately 1.57. Okay, let's test that. Before you can run a script, uh, you have to import the basic Blender system API, Blender PY. That should work now. I want to delete the monkey's head, but I'm going to be doing a lot of deleting, so I'm going to press a which deselects everything, A that selects everything, delete, delete. A uh, bit overkill but I'm going to be using it all the time from now on. And I can run the script and we get monkey's head in the correct rotation. It's still selected, you have to click it to unselect as well. Right, I want to add a cube. I could go back into default view but I know shift and A brings the add menu and I can select cube and here's my command primitive cube add I'm doing control C coming into the text editor control V um, I don't want to rotate or uh, move the location of this so I don't need any parameters at all Okay, let's test that. I'm coming into uh, the 3D view. I'm pressing A twice and delete key and deleting all that and then running my script and that's working fine. Okay, uh, you get location rotation but you don't get scale in the bait when you add a mesh. So how do I scale? Well, let's see what uh, Blender generates. I can see this is still selected, I'm going to deselect that. Um, S for scale, let's say Z for direction, move the mouse, click, and let's see what we got. Okay, I'm going to do Control and C, come over, move the mouse pointer into the text editor window, Control and V, and uh, these are the scaling parameters here, resize, uh, all the other arguments I don't need, Let's delete those. And what values do I want for those? I want 1.2, 0.8, and 
and 1.5 slightly elongated body okay test it AA delete and run script okay head body right I need two arms I'm going to use a cylinder for the arms so I'm going to do shift and A cylinder and there it is control and C come into the text editor control and V okay I've got two commands there which tells me I didn't deselect something up here there it is deselect that deselect this you must remember to deselect so I copy two commands instead of one let's get rid of that this is adding my cylinder uh, I the only thing I want to do with the cylinder at the moment is its location so delete everything but location delete that and delete that and the location I want uh, to be two blender units to the right okay very quickly test that AA delete and run script okay next thing I want to do is resize so let's copy that control C control V and the values I want are 0 0.5 0.5 and 1.5 so let's AA delete enter run script so there's the arm now when it rotates it will touch the body if I'd rotated first and scaled afterwards it you have to mess about with the axes then and I don't this is simpler just to do the rotation now. I could come over here and press R to rotate and generate a rotate command. I didn't have much of success with that or that I had to mess about with that a lot. So I'm going back to the first tutorial and I'm going to type in in the con um, Python console bpy dot c and then I'm going to do control and space to autocomplete context o control and space now that will get at the current object and I can alter its property it's its rotation property I want control uh, the one we want from that list is rotation Euler and the y-axis and I want uh, minus set it to be minus 0.5 which is approximately 30 degrees in radians okay if I press enter there that rotates that's fine that's great so I'm going to copy and paste that up into my script okay now uh, at this point control C control V um, at this point, there's a couple of ways I could copy those three lines to make uh, another arm and just alter the location and the rotation. Um, but for a variety of commands, I'll duplicate. Just so. Let's run the script again. With the arm selected, I'm going to press Shift and D, and we get and press Enter. We get a duplicate command. Let's copy and paste that. Control C. Um, where's my cursor? Okay. Let's tidy up. Control V. Um, that's a duplicate and move. I've been into the Blender um, API reference, and there is just a duplicate, and that's all we need. So. I've done that. Now we need to move. We haven't moved anything yet. So what does a move command look like? If I move it, we get a move command. Let's see what it looks like. 
it's control C mouse pointer into the text editor control V transform translate and I just need to alter the values so let's do that and the values I want are minus 4 and the others are 0 0 and 0 ok uh, should we run that AA delete and run script okay and we just need to rotate let's copy this or set the rotation to be the other way control C control V and get rid of that the legs uh, I just need another cylinder let's copy that Uh, and I need another but I don't need the rotate control C control V I'll change the values for this I need 0 0.8 for this I need minus 3.5 move the leg down and the resize on this is just make the leg slightly longer put two there ok AA delete enter run script very nearly there other leg just need those two control C very nearly there now. Control V, and the only parameter I have to change there is that one, which should be minus 1.6, and we're there. Run the script, and we make a simple monkey man. Okay, you can. Um, using API calls, select everything, join it all together, name it. You can use the report panel to generate those commands. I'll put listings up on my website, freemovies.co.uk, the Blender channel there. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.